question regarding our region, how we can participate in the program of economic development. And what I'm driving at is do we need, as a region, to develop a focus for ourselves and the other regions as well in the state of Ohio? We can better participate in this uh, particular movement for job development and training. I'm driving at, for instance, you talk about manufacturing. Cleveland as an area is one truck day from 43% of the U.S. market. That's 500 miles. We have a rail system here on the Pacific Rim that can bring trains directly in, drop them off here in Cleveland, Port of Entry, Cleveland, and the distribution center and also a, a, an enterprise zone, which allows free trade. There's no tax involved, the ships out or in, to be brought in here. And look at Cleveland as it originally was. Cleveland became the city when the diversion from the Ohio Canal was gone from, taken from uh, Sandusky to here. That made us a port. And what I'm looking at is, I think we need a focus in the region, and then how do we go about getting this focus in your program or into the state's program? So we can, we can become part of it, and then it's the avenue that we need to take to do that. Steve, I'll answer that in two ways. First, uh, I didn't go through every piece of the bond package, but you should also know that there is, uh, uh, I think it's $200 million, no, it's $150 million, that is targeted for what we call the distribution and logistics industry. That's basically helping take where, the where goods are made and moving them to where they are sold in a way that takes advantage of our infrastructure and taking advantage of our ports and our rail and our highways and our airports. Uh, the truth of the matter is it's why FedEx and UPS and DHL, for example, all have major facilities in Ohio. They get the fact that this is a place where you can take advantage of that uh, clear uh, strategic location. And so we are going to invest in that. I think what's happening right now at the Cleveland Port Authority is exciting. Their, their proposal to move to 55th is one that we're looking at closely, but on, on, its, on its face it looks very exciting to me and one that I think gives us an opportunity to expand our maritime capacity, be able to bring containers in. And the other part I would say to you is that we have responsibilities to act more like regions and less like uh, small com political communities. And so as a result, working with the Fund for the Future, working with Team NEO, working with all of you in this organization under your leadership and with your counterpart organizations, you're the future. You're the, way, you're the ones who are going to actually make this happen more so than any of you individually. You know, there's an old phrase that none of us is as smart as all of us. And the truth is that that's exactly why you have this organization. It's why you're here tonight. So I would suggest that the, bo the best thing that the state can do is to, fill, uh, to serve as a catalyst, a convener, a facilitator of regional collaboration. Uh, and we see ourselves as not only facilitators and conveners uh, and catalysts, we also are see ourselves as investors and risk-sharing collaborative partners. Meaning that if there are ways we can facilitate these conversations, on a regional basis. Some regions are further ahead than others. Northeast Ohio, by the way, being further ahead than many. Uh, we want to be able to do that. The state, frankly, has always taken a hands-off approach. Let the regions do what they do. Our view is we need to come in and be facilitators, conveners, and catalysts of those conversations. Uh, and that's exactly what we are doing. We have, for example, appointed 12 regional economic development directors. Uh, the one for Cuyahoga County is Jennifer Ruggles. These are the front door of our economic development department, and their job is to be both tacticians and strategists, to work with organizations like you and the other regional organizations. At the same time, she works and her counterparts work with businesses who need immediate answers because businesses would rather have a fast no than a slow yes, and so we are trying to be very quick and agile. So that's a long answer to a uh, a short question, but the answer is it's a combination of regional collaboration and investments in our uh, infrastructure, in our distribution and logistic industry, all of which we are focused on. I'd now like to read the oath of office one more time. Thank you very much. Okay. Before I do the invocation, there are a couple of announcements I need to make. For those new officers, the next board meeting will be March the 15th. <clears throat> March 15th. 
that's a Saturday, at 8.30 a.m. at Chuck's Parma four-star office. Also, come see me to sign your certificates of office. The next forum will be on May 1st, and as Lieutenant Governor mentioned, foreclosure, that's the topic. Up to minute progress and strategies, Jim Rokakis will be our featured speaker. We could all bow for a minute. Father, we thank you for this time. We pray that we have learned things from you and from the speakers who have come tonight. Guide us in our journey back to our home safely until we meet again. Amen. Amen. With that, our meeting is adjourned. <laughs>